What's up guys, this is Demkeys and today I'm going to teach you how to create ripple effects using Unity's particle system. Now real quick I want to mention that in this tutorial we'll be using this image which is basically a white ring with soft edges. If you have a similar image then go ahead and use it. If not, then I'll be providing a download link to this image in the description down below. And if you want to learn how to make this kind of a ring, Glowing Dude has done an excellent tutorial on this. The link to his tutorial will be at the end of this video. So let's begin. We're going to start by creating a cube. Right click in the hierarchy, click 3D object, cube, rename the cube to ground, set its position to 0 on all axes and its scale to 100 on x, 0.1 on y and 100 on z. Also select the directional light and drag it down so it's not obstructing our view. Next we need to create a material for the ground so right click in the project panel, click create material, name it ground mat and set its color to black. Then drag and drop the material into the ground game object. Next we need to create our particle system so right click in the hierarchy, click effects, particle system. Set the position to 0 on all axes and raise it up a little so it's not within the ground. Next we need to create a material for the particle system so right click in the project panel click create material name this particle mat change its shader from standard to particles additive set the tint color to white and drag and drop this image into the texture field next select the particle system and under the renderer module drag and drop the particle material into the material field so now the particles look like white rings now notice how regardless of what angle we look at this from the particles are always facing the view this is because the render alignment right here is set to view. Change this to local. So now the particles will always face the local z direction of the particle system. Next, notice how there's a cone shape being formed by these particles. To change this, expand the shape module and change the angle to 0 and radius to 0.01. So now our particles are always moving in one direction. Next, we need to make sure that the spawned particles remain in the same place instead of going up. So change the start speed to 0. And now the particles stay in the same place after being spawned. Next, change the start size to 3 so the particles are a little bigger now. Then under emission, change the rate over time to 2 so that not too many particles are being spawned. Next, enable the size over lifetime module. The curve is perfect as it is, we don't need to change it. It goes from 0 to 1 which is exactly what we need. Keep in mind 0 and 1 are multiplier values, they're not the actual sizes. Now we have a ripple like effect, but the particles seem to be lasting a little too long which is why this looks a little crowded here. So change the start lifetime to 2 and now we can see individual ripples. Now notice how when the particles lifetime runs out it just disappears. Appears. Enable the color over lifetime module and expand it and now let's set the gradient in the gradient editor. So we don't need to change the color at all. So all we need to do is add an alpha key up here somewhere around this area. You don't need to be very precise with it. Then select the first alpha key and set its alpha value to 0 and then select the last alpha key and set its value to 0 as well. So now the particle spawns transparent then becomes opaque and then gradually becomes transparent again giving us a fading kind of effect. Now real quick I want to point out here that where you place this middle alpha key will depend on what kind of effect you are looking for. Currently, when the alpha key is in this area, you can see what kind of effect we are getting. If I place the alpha key somewhere in the middle, then towards the middle of its lifetime, the particle will be fully opaque and that gives us a different effect. And if I place it here, then towards the end of its lifetime, the particle will be fully opaque and that gives us a different kind of effect. So where you place this key will depend on what kind of effect you are going for. So now we have a nice ripple effect going on. However, if we go close to the particle system, you'll notice that the rings start to look a little different. This is because of the max particle size in the renderer module. This is the largest particle size that will be shown on the screen and it's expressed as a fraction of the viewport size. Currently it is set to 0.5 which is why you can see the particles sort of stop at a certain size. Set this to 10 and the problem is solved. Finally, we need to set the start color for our particles. I'm going to set it to cyan but you can set it to whatever color you want. Alright, so this is one of the ripple effects. Next, make a duplicate of this particle system and bring it over here so that they are not overlapping each other. And now, let's make the second type of ripple effect. Expand the size over lifetime module and enable this curve. Select the last node in the curve and bring it down. Now you'll notice that this line is kind of curved over here. So in order to straighten it out, I'm going to hit Ctrl A to select both the nodes and then right click on one of the nodes, select both tangents and click linear. Next, double click in the center of this line. That's going to add a node and drag that node up. So as you can see, this is a linear curve. Alternatively, if you want it to be a smooth curve, select all the nodes, right click on one of the nodes and click free smooth. But in our case, we want it to be a linear curve. So now the ring starts small, becomes big and then becomes small again. Now again, this looks a little crowded here. So change the emission rate over time to 1 and now you can see individual rings. Next, change the start color from a color to a gradient and let's create a gradient for this. So I'm going to set the first key's color to red, second blue and third green. So now the start color will be chosen from between these color keys. And this gives us a nice effect where each ring has a different color. So this is our second type of ripple effect. Now here's a couple of things you should know. This right here 
here is an illusion. These are not 3D rings, they're flat images. So you want to keep that in mind when you're deciding how to use this effect. Next, let's say I have a wall. Really quick, I'm going to make a wall over here. Right click in the hierarchy, click 3D object, cube, place the cube near the ground, resize it, and then drag and drop the ground mat onto the wall. Also, bring this particle system closer to this wall. Now, it's understandable that you might need to place the particle system close to the surface of some geometry, like how I'm doing here. But when you do that, you might run into this problem where the rings of the particle system are really dim. If you run into this problem, select the particle material and under tint color, you'll notice that the alpha value is set to half of its max value. So set it to the max value and already you can see a change in how the rings look. And then increase the soft particles factor from one to let's say around two. It doesn't have to be max. This is enough. And now the particle system looks fine. However, I should point out that while these settings work for situations where the particle system is close to some sort of surface, they're not that great for situations where the particle system is not near a surface. Because now, when I bring this particle system away from the surface, you'll notice that the rings appear really thick. So you might want to keep this in mind. All right, now I'm going to change the material settings back to what they were before, and let's move on. Now, there may be situations where you might want to use this as a one-shot ripple effect instead of a looping ripple effect. To change this into a one-shot ripple effect, uncheck looping, change the duration to two, so the simulation doesn't last very long, and change the simulation speed to five, so it's a little faster. And this is now a one-shot ripple effect. So yeah, that's it. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to check out more videos, head over to my channel. If you want to watch Glowing Dude's tutorial on how to make a ring with soft edges and hard edges in Krita, the link's going to be up on the screen right now. I'm also accepting donations, so if you want to help me out, my PayPal email address will be up on the screen and in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time.